Hello again. Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games back for another Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress video. This time painting the spindle drones. 09088 Stormy Gray. Just like with the Urgals last time, I'll be doing just one. At least on camera anyway. But that said, I seem to have a lot of problems with camera focus in the last video. I'm not sure why. Well, we'll figure it out. I'm basing my color scheme for these guys more off of the coloration of the fortress tiles than what's in the what's official for in the book. And these are defense and maintenance drones for the Blackstone Fortress. They're very much a part of it. Their big ability and what makes them very dangerous is their uh, threat level. The higher the threat level, the more dangerous their weapons become. So, this is going to be another simple color scheme, so it should go quickly. So, there's the Stormy Gray. Well, I'll get that to the other drones and uh, move on in a minute. Alright, next up. Yeah, cyan blue zero nine one one seven. Let's see if I can get the camera to play nice with me this time. I said I had some trouble with this thing when I was doing those urgals last time. And this is one of the models I had some trouble with. These are kind of fragile. Get a nice solid coat, okay. Apply to the rest, move on in a second. I'm almost gonna take to get this thing to focus. Okay, last base coat, cloudy gray, 09089. Okay, it's giving me a little brief here. Let's see if that's enough to do the job. And this is just going on the base by its little tripod legs. Just need to apply to the rest and then I can start shooting. Still having that focus issue, oh boy. Alright, time to shade. Ritterwick Blue 09115. going over the entire drone with the blue and the gray.
What is not going on the face? At least not if I can help it any way. It might nick at any... It might nick it despite my best efforts. Apply to the rest and move on when it dries. Okay, so going to do two things here. First, pure white 09039 to set up the lighting effects in the eyes. Hmm. I should be able to do this. The blue isn't completely dry yet, but that's dry enough I can work with it. all of these on camera here. Hmm. That seems to be really thick there. I didn't see it, so let's try to put some water on there. See, that'll fix it. That's a little strange. Hmm. Sometimes when you're going to make mistakes, you're not going to catch right away. Okay, so Stormy Gray 0908. Excuse me, 09088. This is a normal wash. Most of this base will end up blending into the towels I put on later. of that off camera, but getting there. Okay, now for the lighting effect. Amethyst purple 09024. This is Amethyst purple. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. It's acting kind of funny right now. I'm just this out a little more than usual and yep fill in you want some of the light through so let's take care of all the on camera here I'll be fine Okay, once that's dry, I can highlight. Okay, time for highlight. Singular, one. Well, actually, two now I think about it, but pearl white, zero, nine, one, zero, zero. Not that one. Not that one. And this is going over the entirety of the drone itself. Not raining at all if it nicks the lens because that'll just give it more shine. It turned out pretty good. And then 
Misty Gray 09090 for the base. specifically this rubble they are skittering over. Now just need to apply to the rest and move on. Out nice. All right now to go around the edge of the base with pure black 09037. If I can coax some more black out of here. This one's about cached I, I still haven't had a chance to go restock yet. <laughs> and I start off by dipping the wrong end of the brush into my water. Oh boy. Well, okay. <laughs> Seems I've been on vacation. I'm still kind of nuts though. All right. So let that dry while I hit the rest, and then I can finish up with some basing. Okay, time to base. I have some glue solution left over from the Urgol, so this is just white glue and water. Sacrificial brush and just base along, or brush along the feet area of the model. And unfortunately, these Warhammer bases do not have a lip like the Malifaux and War Machine Hordes bases, so this will kind of slip off over the edges. There's not much that can be done about it, so we have to dip in the basic material, which in this case is talus or rock debris. There's a little bare spot right there, so we'll just we'll dip again. Using a spare dry brush, just push away where I don't want it, which is not as bad on this one. So repeat for the rest, and once that's had a chance to set, I can seal it. And it still does not want to focus on these models. Good gravy, what is with this camera today? Okay. The talus is had time to set, so the last step is scenic cement. This is a spray and or brush on adhesive. Glass eye drop, but there it is. And just a few drops. You need to give your material time to set for a bit first, otherwise this will push it around and make little gaps. You don't want that. When it solid, what it, yeah, the uh, dry brushing got a little out of hand on this one, but I'm okay with it. from Blackstone Fortress. Continuing on with the hostiles. But um oh boy this can this camera is just giving me grief with these guys. I don't know why. Well until next time I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games signing out.